In this example, we want to use synthetic division to determine whether p plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial here. So first idea is find the root of p plus 3, which is negative 3. Draw your table. And now we write the coefficients down, starting with the highest power all the way to the smallest power. So in this case here, we have a coefficient of 1. Power of 4 is not there. We have to put a 0 in that spot. Don't forget that. Then we have a minus 13. Uh, p squared is not there. We put a 0. Power of p is there. It's a 36. And lastly, p to the power of 0, or our constant term, is not there. So we put down a 0. The first coefficient always gets dropped down. It is always addition. And now we go ahead and multiply. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Adding, we then take negative negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. Adding, we get negative 4. We then take negative 4 times negative 3, which is 12. Adding, we get 12. We then take 12 times negative 3, which is negative 36. Adding, we get 0. And lastly, the last spot here will also be a 0. A remainder of 0 means that p plus 3 is a factor.